Hello everyone, this video tutorial will show you how to add a store feature to your app. First, open your app and click on the edit button. Now click on add features option. Search for the store option and select it. Now you can see your store feature is added. If you want, you can even rename the feature by simply double clicking on it. Once the store is added, you will see a manage store option. Click on it. You will be redirected to the store dashboard. On the dashboard, you'll find a performance statistics board that helps to track your store's performance from daily to yearly basis. You can also view the total number of orders, products, and categories on the store statistics. These stats will become meaningful once you start adding products and receiving orders. On the left panel, you'll see the Products tab, where you can view all your listed products. Click the Add Product button to list more products. You can learn more about this section in our How to Add Products in Store feature video. Now let us go to the Orders section. Here, under Store Orders, you'll see all the orders placed in your store. Here, you can check order details, including the order ID, customer information, order date, status, and payment. You can check the details of the orders by clicking on the plus icon. And if needed, you can also delete the order using the three dots at the right. Moving forward, there's an option called Abandoned Cart. This shows all orders left in the cart by users. You can use this data to target these users by sharing a coupon code and increase conversions. The shared coupon code will automatically apply at checkout. You can learn more about promotions and coupons in our How to Create Coupon for Your Users video. After the abandoned cart, let's come to another option in the panel, the return requests. Here you can view and manage all return requests and decide to accept or reject them using the dropdown on the right side. Now to run your store, you need to set your store details. Therefore, Let's go to the General Settings section. Here, you can add your store name, GST and number, email, contact number, support email, support contact number, store currency, minimum amount order, and store address. You also get an option to enable SMS services for your customers. Now to manage your store, you will get the Store Settings tab, where you can enable reviews, filters, sorting, coupons, and many other options in your store. You also get invoices, WhatsApp notifications, and delivery mode settings here. Now comes the important part, payment and taxes. In the payment settings, you can select the type of payment mode and the gateway you want from this section. After setting your payment gateway, go to tax settings, where you can edit or manage all the state and country tax rules. You can provide a rule name for your tax and then select its type either fixed or percentage. Then select the country and its rate, which will be implemented as an amount or percentage that will be charged as tax. After making all changes, click the Save button. Lastly, you need to set shipping mode to run your store business. Go to the shipping setting. Here, you have to integrate one of the shipping platforms. There are multiple options like ShipRocket, FedEx, ShipIt, etc. to automate your shipping service. After setting up your shipping service, you are all set to run your store. Save your details once you are done with the configurations and test your app using given QR code. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.